nobody in their right mind would set up a policing structure that we have right now for the capital region if we were going to do it today. And uh, I think that uh, I applaud the report that came out from the all party um, from the legislature. It identifies that Victoria uh, and Southern Vancouver Island is uh, prime for um, a uh, regional police force. I just think we're going to get better policing. Um, It's not a question of Victoria wanting to spread its cost to the, the, the region, it's we're going to get better policing. We'll get better governance. That's why I support amalgamation. We're going to get better governance. We can deal with better housing situations, better transportation. All these issues need to be looked at rather than dealing with all these silos that we have through the region. So, yeah, some municipalities are going to be about, upset about this. I understand it. They get an exceptional deal with the cost from the RCMP. Um, but we know that there are issues in their regions. And, and I, I will talk to the West Shore. Um, the West Shore knows that because of the amount of policing that they have there, they have issues with ga- gangs uh, setting up in, in the West Shore and basically working there with um, in impunity because there's not the resources to, to move forward. So I think that Really, if we had a regional police force, we could look at these these issues. It's all very well for one municipality to work very hard to to and Victoria did over the years, by the way, push the gang um, involvement that was going on in Victoria out of the city. So what it did is it went somewhere else. Well, that's not the way that we need to work. We need to ensure that they're period out of the region. 